The Final Cut camera app just got a pretty meaty new update. Let's talk about it. First of all, if you have an iPhone 15 or newer, you can now shoot in the log format in the HEVC codec. And by the way, can we just take a quick second to appreciate this cute Lego set that YouTube sent to me? In the previous version of Final Cut Camera, you could only shoot in the log color space if you were shooting in Apple ProRes. What does this all mean for you? Basically, HEVC files are smaller in size than Apple ProRes. So now you can capture more with less storage space and still take advantage of the dynamic range that shooting in log gives you. Now, the HEVC files are gonna be like slightly lower quality than ProRes. I don't think the average user is going to notice, but if you're worried about quality, you might still wanna shoot in that ProRes format. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about with log, don't worry, I got you. I have a whole video where I explain it in very plain English. I'm gonna put a card to that here and I will link to it down below. Now, speaking of log, there's another great new feature in this version of Final Cut Camera where we can actually record in the log color space, but preview what it will look like with the Apple Log LUT applied to it. To enable this, just hit the gear icon to open settings and under the preferences tab, open color and dynamic range. Make sure you're set to log and toggle on preview with LUT. X out of the menu and you can now see the LUT applied to your clip. Now, don't forget, this is just a preview. Your actual video file will still be shot flat. Next up is my personal favorite update, which are built-in levels. These are great. You can enable these levels under settings, the tools tab, and toggle on level. If you wanna make sure your shot is level on the Z axis, spin your phone until this long center line aligns with the short lines on each side of it, and it turns yellow. To make sure it's squared up, rotate your camera on the X axis until the circles align and turn yellow. And for overhead shots, align the center crosses to make sure you're looking straight down and not tilted. There's something very satisfying about getting everything lined up and turned yellow on these levels. I don't know, I'm really into it. And the last update you need to know about is that if you have an iPhone 16 Pro or an iPhone 16 Pro Max, you can now shoot in 4K at 120 frames per second. And that makes sense because the Final Cut Pro Mac app and the iPad app each got support for timelines in 120 frames per second. So everything just kind of like connects. If you wanna see what's new with both both of those apps. I'll link to those down below. In the meantime, here's some other stuff I think you're gonna like. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you again.